Hi guys, so simply put, if you don't want your Microsoft exam to be revoked, then don't close Microsoft Learn page during the exam. Why? Well, let me tell you a story about the last exam I took. So let's get started. All right, so here's the story. So November last year, I took beta exam of this brand new Microsoft Fabric Data Engineer certificate, DP700. And I decided to take it online using Pearson uh, View application the same way I did it multiple times in the past. It's a really convenient way of taking the exam. You can do it from home. You don't have to go to this certification center. And pretty new thing about those Microsoft exams is that you can use Microsoft Learn page during the exam. Basically, you can refer to the documentation which means that no longer you have to memorize all those tiny details like syntax of a specific command. No, right now you can look it up uh, during the exam in the official documentation, which is super cool. And guess what? When I was taking the exam, I hit the question that I didn't know the answer for. So I decided to, well, use documentation. That's what it is uh, used for, right? So I found the proper page in the documentation, I got the answer, I answered the question, and then I decided to close this Microsoft Learn window because it was taking quite a lot of space on the exam application. And to do this, I closed this tiny X um, button in the upper right corner, the same way as you close another window. But suddenly, my exam application screen got blank. Everything disappeared. So list of questions, progress bar, it was gone. The only thing that uh, remained was view from my camera and the option to chat with the proctor, which I did. So I opened the chat, I, I explained my situation and I asked if they can bring it back. And I said, no problem, wait a second. And after a few seconds, my exam was live again. The good thing was that I didn't lose any progress. So all the questions I answered so far, they remained answered. The bad thing was that I lost my whiteboard. And whiteboard is this place where, where you can take notes about some questions. So it was gone. All right, minor issue, but let's move on. So I continued with answering some questions and then again, I hit a question that I didn't know the answer for. So again, I decided to consult the documentation. I found the answer, answered the question, and I want to close this uh, web um, site again. But this time I was super careful where I was clicking. And I am 100% sure that I clicked on the proper close button. But guess what? It happened again my screen got blank again. So this time again, I reached out to the proctor and asked, guys, can you bring it back like you did 10 minutes ago? They said, sure, just wait a second. And after a few seconds, it was back again. All right, not the best candidate experience when you're quite stressed and you encounter those technical details, but at least I didn't lose any progress. So let's move on. Then when I was about three or four questions left to, the, to complete the exam, I moved to the next question. And again, my screen got completely blank. So I reached out to the proctor. And this time it was a different person. And the conversation was less pleasant. It was pretty short one. Basically, they said, we have to revoke your exam. Thanks for taking it. If you want to appeal, that's the incident number, goodbye. And the exam was stopped, it was closed. And at this moment, I was pretty pissed because I didn't know what happened. Was my exam completely revo revoked and cancelled or not? Will it be scored or not? I don't know. So I decided to write a post on this official Microsoft support forum and you will find a link in the video description where you can read about some details of the case. 
And after some time, this support um, engineer from Microsoft reached out to me and we continued the discussion in a private channel. So you will not be able to see those details. But let me provide you some. So after I provided some details to prove that it is really me who took the exam, uh, support claimed that there will be no score report if the exam is not completed. All right, sounds fair. So the question from my side was, all right, so was my exam marked as completed and will it be scored at all? And I think the support didn't understand my question because they continue to answer that if it is not uh, completed, it will be not scored. And me again, I understand this. I am not asking about the result of the exam. I am just asking if it will be scored at all. And after some back and forth, they finally admitted that because this exam is still in beta, it has its own rules and it means that neither Microsoft nor Pearson have any record of the result, which is fine. But what is more important is that they don't know if the exam was marked as completed. Strange, but ok, right? And basically, they will know it after the exam goes live. So it means I just have to wait. So at this moment, I just decided to let it go and to wait. And I waited for several months. The exam went live. And a few days ago, I got this email from Microsoft with information that I actually passed the exam, which was, which was a huge surprise to me, because I was pretty sure that since the exam was revoked, then it will be not scored, which means that automatically I failed. But no, I passed it. And you can see my score report on the exam. And you can see that the score is not the best. I barely passed. And I guess that those few questions that I didn't have a chance to answer, they will just they were they were not scored at all. That's why the result is as slow as it is, but at least I passed it. And now, a lesson for me and potentially for you is that if you take MS um, exams online, then don't you dare to close this MS Learn site um, window. Maybe it was a temporary bug, maybe it was some issue with my session, I don't know. For sure, I will not risk it again by closing it. No, I will either minimize it or scroll it to the side to take as least space as possible, but I will not close it at all. And that's what I recommend you to do. And uh, one additional note is that using this MS Learn page during the exam, it differs from finding the same information using Google. And it is quite stressful during the exam, so I plan to record a video about how to use this documentation effectively. So stay tuned. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.